Hi everyone, Alison Davis here. Welcome to Dormead Golf Academy. Today's lesson is all about how we can strike your irons pure. Any forward lean is going to help your ball striking. So in order to do that, we have to get the shaft leaning forward and we have to hit down on the golf ball. So what I commonly see with most golfers is there's a sway or a movement away from the ball in the backswing. So place the logo at the front part of the golf ball like so, so it's tilted over. Then when we swing, as I said, I want you to feel that you're going to stare at that logo only throughout the whole of your backswing and focus on hitting that logo on the way through. Today's lesson is all about how we can strike your irons pure. And realistically, I'm going to give you two tips that you can instantly take to the golf course that's going to help improve your ball striking straight away. The first point I want to make really with this is if we're looking to strike an iron shot correctly, we have to hit the golf ball in the center of the face and then between the kind of second and third groove up. So in order to get that presented to the center of gravity of the ball, the club has to be tilted forward. So we have to create that shaft lean to present the center of gravity of the iron to the center of gravity of the ball to make fantastic contact. Low handicappers will hit down three to five degrees. High to mid handicappers will hit up on the ball or level with the ball and therefore only hit good shots perhaps off the tee or off a really fluffy semi-rough lie around the fairways. So we're really looking to make sure we can deliver that consistently to improve your ball striking and lower your scores. Let's get to the two tips. So what I commonly see with most golfers is there's a sway or a movement away from the ball in the backswing towards their trail side, either through the hips swaying or through the head moving laterally to the right, which we do not want to see. So the things I'm going to talk about today are going to be to combat that. Obviously, if we sway to the side, what tends to happen then we tend to reverse our spine backwards and raise up, and that creates an inconsistency in how we land the club on the ground. So sometimes we will reduce our height too much on the way back down to get back to the ball and end up at a radius of our swing bearing itself into the ground. Other times we'll move backwards to counteract the weight and we'll end up hitting up on the golf ball. And sometimes this is caused conception as well by people trying to get the ball up in the air from a fairway from a tight lie and they get leaning back and flicky at it to produce that shot that goes up in the air. So what I want to see you do is be able to stay centered. One of the drills I get people to do to feel this and encourage this, and this is a drill only, you could play with it, but I wouldn't advise it, is we're going to close your lead eye. So if I take my set now and then close my lead eye, and if I make a backswing, I should still be able to see all of that golf ball. Now, if my head moves to the right with my lead eye closed, I no longer can see that golf ball. So if I sway off the ball, I lose sight of that ball pretty damn quickly. So the idea is to be able to make swings and hit balls with your lead eye closed. And that'll give us an idea and feedback of whether we're moving too much. So it's a great way of you telling straight away what you're doing. Obviously you can film yourself also and put a line in your head, but lead eye closed is a great way of getting some feel straight away. And you can do this on the course with practice swings straight away. So the second tip is using the logo on the front of the ball. And we're gonna stare at this as we swing again, to make sure we stay more centered. And also we're gonna focus on hitting through this part to encourage us to hit down on the ball. So place the logo at the front part of the golf ball like so, so it's tilted over. Then when we swing, as I said, I want you to feel that you're gonna stare at that logo only throughout the whole of your backswing and focus on hitting that logo on the way through. So we've got the logo positioned at the front of the ball and there's nothing wrong with you doing that if you've got a tee shot or even preferred lies on the fairway, which we get here in the UK in the winter quite a lot. So having the ball positioned there purposely to give you that focus point. So the idea now is we're really going to focus on the backswing, keeping our eyes on that logo. If I get move too much, I lose sight of the logo. I'm trying to feel that we get this golf club to land target side of that logo. And if you've got these sticks here, get this golf club to land target side of these sticks, brushing the ground or taking a divot, whichever you prefer, every single time. I am still looking for us to rotate through the ball and extend through the ball, so I call it heart of the sky, if you watched my other stuff before. So we're rotating, heart of the sky, we're getting the club to descend and land after that spot every single time. So a center turn, landing the club in the right spot and making a committed swing. Let's have a go at a shot. Thank you. 
nice divot there just after the ball good clean contact in terms of pressure so I'm really happy with that tried to feel really centered on it probably more so than I would do normally because really conscious of what I'm saying to you making sure I demonstrate what I'm saying but a really good shot so there we have it two simple tips keys concepts to help improve your striking and make your striking pure present the proper part of the club to the proper part of the ball taking ball and turf and landing in the right spot. This will help your ball striking no end. Give it a go, let us know your feedback, how it's worked, how you've got on, and also post any questions or comments down below also. So if you have enjoyed the video, please click like and share the video, we really appreciate if you could do that. And lastly, if you can subscribe, we'd appreciate that. Join us on our journey. Let's lower your scores and join our Dormeed Academy here. So thank you for watching and see you again here soon.